Hey everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces and let's talk about cleaning your brushes today. So we obviously sell tons of brushes in, in the shop and we always go through this big long spiel. So we figured we'd do a quick little video for everybody out there. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about chalk paint is that the cleanup is really simple and easy. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get a little wrapped up in my project. I maybe forget to do all the cleanup. There have been more than one time that I have left a brush out overnight to dry with paint in it. Now, if you do this with anything other than chalk paint, and I am talking about any Sloan paint, because if it's not any Sloan, it's not chalk paint. So this only applies to any Sloan. Um, if you leave a brush out with latex or acrylic paint in it, it is done. It is hard as a rock. It's plastic, basically. When, and chalk paint is not. So that is the beauty of chalk paint. So even if you forget to clean it, it's okay. You will still be able to do it. We actually left this brush out overnight in our Massapequa store. We had a furniture rehab class here. And this brush is still kind of sort of soft, um, but it is, it is hard and crunchy on some of these bristles. So I'm gonna show you, you can clean this brush. Don't throw them away. I've had customers do that too. So the product that we use to do this is lye soap. You can use any soap, but we like using lye soap because it does have some conditioning agents in it. So it's gonna help to condition the natural bristles. We do of course carry this here at Sweet Pieces. This is called Little White Lye. And then we also carry Big Fat Lye, which we never do here at Sweet Pieces. We never make a big fat lye. Um, it's a bigger bar. It is again, what we use in the store to clean all of our brushes. So it keeps them nice and conditioned. So what I usually do with my paint brushes, I will run them under water, and usually if you get to your brush right away, it will come nice and clean very easily with just a little bit of water. But since this one is so crunchy and crusty, I'm just gonna kind of loosen it up a bit. So once I get a little bit of water on there, I'll then take my soap, and I kind of brush my bristles into it. And now I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna swish it around. You have these hard and crunchy, so I kind of rub it on the edge of my palm to loosen them up a bit. Just swirl it around, get it loosened, run it under water, squeeze it out. We also have these handy little tools. They're little scrubbies. So you can kind of run your bristles through here as well. And that will start to loosen it up. And this paint, again, remember, chalk paint is highly pigmented. It's made with real pigments, so very, very high quality ingredients. And that does mean sometimes that these darker colors are a little bit harder to come clean. Not harder, but it just takes a few more runs under the water. Definitely not harder than cleaning up latex paint. I am so sorry if that's you, if one of our customers calling, somebody that's listening on the video. <laughs> I will call you right back. So you can see here, this is cleaning up so nicely. Again, like I said, had that been a latex brush, it would have been completely ruined. It's always important to, after you wash your brushes, to make sure that you leave your soap nice and dry. Don't leave a lot of water in there because that will kind of eat away at the soap and it will degrade it much, much quicker. So basically with your brushes, you just want to make sure that when you're rinsing them out, that the water is running clear. Now you always want to make sure that when you dry your brushes, you're either going to lay them flat or you're going to hang them, which is why they have that handy dandy hole there. Um, you never want to dry them like this, where you're standing them straight up, because the water will get into the ferrule, which is what that metal part is, and it will rust out the bristles, and you don't want to do that, because then you will ruin your brushes. So there you go. Easy peasy. So now this is washing a paintbrush. How do you wash your wax brushes? Great question. So I have a wax brush, oh, I had a wax brush. But I knocked it over, but that's okay. I have another one. This is an Annie Sloan large wax brush. And when you get wax in there, you know, you'll feel it. It'll be kind of waxy and sticky. Um, so what, how do you clean them? 
really easy. I turn the water on. First, I actually, um, before I, I put them under the soap and water, I will take a paper towel and kind of take out as much wax as I possibly can, which I've already done. Um, these were again out on the floor overnight. Um, so wipe away as much wax as you can, then put them under hot water for about 20 seconds. I just kind of let them get heated up. Let the bristles get wet. And then again, you're gonna take your live soap. This is what we use to clean our wax brushes. Swirl it around in there. You'll do the same thing that you did with your paint brushes. Squeeze it out. And with your wax brushes, you'll probably have to do that little process I did there maybe two or three times. Um, but you'll know because your wax, your um, the bristles of the brush won't feel waxy anymore. It'll they'll feel nice and clean. And once you do that and they feel nice and clean, then you can go ahead and put them away. So now, again, same thing with your wax brushes. You don't wanna dry them standing straight up. You wanna either dry them laying flat or hanging. These don't have a hole in the handle. And also, if you wanna, you always wanna make sure when you're buying an Annie Sloan brush that it does say Annie Sloan on it. Um, so you would just go ahead and lay those flat. So again, you just wanna remember, this is, of course, applies to the one and only any Sloan chalk paint, which you can buy at Sweet Pieces or your local retailer. If you're not lucky enough to live near us, we do have stores in both Huntington and Massapequa for your shopping convenience. We always want to see our customers come into the store. We'll teach you. We'll talk to you about new techniques and, and tricks and tips. Um, and of course, we always get the question, can you paint with a wet brush? You can absolutely paint with a wet brush. So it doesn't have to be totally dry. Um, your paint will definitely go on smoother. It won't be quite as thick if you have a wet brush. So if you want your paint to be more textured, use a dry brush. If you don't mind it being a little smoothed out, it's okay to use a wet brush. As far as waxing goes, your wax brushes don't have to be bone dry to use, but you want them to be as dry as possible. So just use a good absorbent paper towel and squeeze them out as much as you can. So. If you have any questions, pop in and see us in the store. If not, happy painting. We'll see you soon.